Well, with spring weather in full bloom, bees are becoming more active. For some of you, it might be sweet, but it might also make you want to run away. Sheree Honeycutt is live in the studio with the buzz on how to deal with bees. Jeff and Carly, I spoke with a professional beekeeper today on the do's and don'ts of dealing with bees and why the last thing you should do is kill them. Being this close to bees might make you nervous, but Grant Gillard has been doing it since the 80s. If you see a swarm of bees, first thing, don't panic. Gillard says the middle of April is the beginning of bee season. We're seeing the swarms, which sometimes show up like in your backyard. They show up at the park, they show up in parking lots, they show up in real different places. He tells me this means the bees aren't out to get you. They're just passing through. Well, they're moving through looking for a new home and they're looking for another hollow tree. It could be any cavity that fits a certain size that meets the bees' expectation. They're looking for a new home is what they're doing. That new home may be in your yard. Don't do this. I have to lock the doors down. I don't have to get all the kids out of the yard. Don't freak out and don't spray them. If you see one, just be cool and walk away. Waving your hands frantically as if this will give them some kind of communication that you want them to go away. It doesn't. This is to the bees, it's just movement. It just makes them more agitated. Gillard says the best thing you can do for bees is something you might not expect. You might want to keep those weeds in your yard. Don't mow it every other day. Just let it go. Let it grow up a little bit. Let things flower. Let the bees enjoy it and then mow it off. And it's going to regrow, but don't mow it so incessantly. Whatever you do, don't kill them. We've seen a decline in bees, mostly through uh, pesticides and a lot of loss of habitat. And remember, they make the sweet stuff. Those swarms are valuable to us, and so there's a beekeeper around. We'll come and get them, and usually for free. Stand by. The U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service listed the honeybee as an endangered species in January. However, Gillard says they're slowly making a rebound. Live local now, Sheree Honeycutt, Heartland News.